In the age of information technology, we suffer from an excess of news and knowledge obtained through gadgets. Undoubtedly, the benefits of such innovations far outweigh the drawbacks. Thanks to these technologies, we can explore anything we want by simply searching on the internet where hundreds of links with answers to our questions immediately appear. However, this trend has a pronounced downside. We become incredibly vulnerable to false information. It is often incredibly difficult to distinguish between truth and falsehood, especially as the number of websites with various information increases, leading to a higher possibility of receiving false information. Given these trends, it is crucial to keep our minds cool, allowing us to objectively evaluate the information coming from external sources. We should avoid hasty and thoughtless decisions. It is important to note that I do not mean suspecting everything and everyone, but rather assessing information with a balanced perspective of sober objectivity and suspicion. In this video, I will tell you about the history of skepticism, why it is the most important skill in the 21st century, and what needs to be done to become a healthy skeptic. History of Skepticism Skepticism as a philosophical movement has ancient roots and is associated with several philosophical currents in ancient Greece. One of the early leaders of skepticism is considered to be Pyrrho of Elis, who founded Pyrrhonism, form of skepticism. Pyrrho expressed doubt about the ability of humans to attain true knowledge and proposed a strategy of epike, or suspension of judgment. Epike involves temporarily refraining from forming a final opinion on what is true or false. He argued that the lack of certainty in anything leads to inner peace. Pirho himself did not write philosophical treatises, believing that knowledge cannot be obtained externally. He influenced philosophers such as Enesidemus, Agrippa, and Empiricus. Sextus Empiricus thoroughly developed Pyrrho's ideas. Empiricus described tropes or ways of doubt that could be used to deny any assertion and achieve a state of epoche. These tropes were employed to demonstrate the impossibility of attaining absolute certainty in knowledge. Several tropes described by Sextus include trope of differences in opinions. There are numerous opinions on any question making it impossible to make a definite assertion. Trope of variability. People's opinions and views change over time and in different cultures, undermining the stability of knowledge. Trope of dependence on the senses. Empiricus pointed out the dependence of our perceptions on senses, which can be distorted or misleading. Trope of relativity. All perceptions are relative and depend on the context. What seems true in one context may be false in another. Trope of analogy. Since we cannot observe all cases, a statement based on analogy may be false. Trope of hypothetical nature. According to this trope, a statement may be false because it is based on assumptions or hypotheses. Thus, Sextus Empiricus's tropes aimed to demonstrate that we cannot be absolutely certain of the truth or falsehood of any knowledge, and therefore, we should refrain from making final judgments. This position of skepticism is called a state of suspension of judgment. Skepticism has influenced various philosophical movements, including medieval skepticism and Enlightenment philosophy. Philosophers such as Jean Buridan and Michel de Montaigne, continued to engage with skepticism in their works. Michel de Montaigne, a French Renaissance philosopher, expressed skepticism regarding the possibility of humans attaining absolute truth in his essays. He emphasized the relativity of human experience and doubted the stability of any assertions. According to Montaigne, each individual or subject has a subjective perspective. From this perspective, one tries to construct an objective picture of something. However, 
a paradox arises. Can a person, starting from a subjective opinion, build an objective truth? Scottish philosopher David Hume also developed skeptical ideas in his works. He expressed doubts about rationality and argued that our beliefs may be based on habit and custom rather than strict logic. Friedrich Nietzsche also had a certain degree of skepticism in his works. While being not a skeptic in the classical sense, Nietzsche criticized the idea of absolute truth. He emphasized the re-evaluation of all values and rejected claims to objectivity in morality and knowledge. During the Enlightenment, the scientific method emerged as a response to skepticism, emphasizing experience and empirical data as the basis for forming knowledge. In the 20th century, postmodernist philosophers also supported skepticism regarding absolute truth. Jean-Francois Lyotard, for example, in his work The Postmodern Condition, published in 1979, highlighted diversity and the absence of a unified meaning. Skepticism is not limited by time or culture. Its ideas remain relevant in modern philosophy, especially in the context of postmodernism, which also emphasizes the relativity and multiplicity of perspectives on truth and knowledge. Why skepticism is an important element of the 21st century. It is evident that doubts about the truth of certain judgments always exist. As humans, we are inclined to approach new things with suspicion and as practice shows, such skepticism catalyzes the development of humanity. Once, people pondered why attack another state to take its resources when they could attempt to trade. This gave rise to commerce. Doubts about whether only humans can perform certain tasks compelled people to create machines, marking the starting point of the Industrial Revolution. However, in the 21st century, the skill of skepticism is a key element of human life. Let's understand why. Unlike previous centuries, living in the 21st century, we experience information overload. While in the past, we could receive information through word of mouth or newspapers, now, as soon as we open our phones, we are inundated with an incredibly large flow of information. Moreover, this information is not always relevant to us. Information overload is a state in which a person faces an excess of information that is challenging to process in a given period. Modern technologies, especially the internet and social media, have made access to information easy and instantaneous. But, concurrently, the volume of data we encounter daily has increased, which can be exhausting and stressful. Now, People have access to a vast amount of information from various sources, including news websites, social networks, blogs, and video content. This can be useful, but it also leads to people frequently encountering an endless stream of data. The information flow often comes with the need to make decisions about which information to select, how to interpret it, and how to react to it. This can create additional pressure for decision-making. It is challenging to separate facts from opinions and distinguish true information from fake news and manipulations. This complicates the process of forming reasoned opinions and confidence in one's knowledge. A constant flow of a large amount of information can lead to scattered attention, reduced concentration, and increased stress. People often switch between different topics, which can weaken deep understanding. Against this background, it can be said that we live in an era of neurotics. Due to the large volume of information and the clash of various perspectives, the so-called information noise arises, making it difficult to highlight key and significant aspects. Considering these aspects, skepticism plays an important role in helping people distinguish, analyze, and critically evaluate the information they encounter. This can assist in making informed decisions 
and forming sustainable, fact-based opinions. Real problems that skepticism helps to solve. The world faces a significant number of problems. These modern problems, such as climate change, political instability, social injustice, and pandemics, require complex solutions. As a result, many people experience panic regarding such issues. Some individuals prefer to go half-naked on the streets, paint landmarks, or chant, how dare you, from the stands. However, clearly that such activities do not impact real changes in the world. They merely stir the air without offering a direct path to problem resolution. Approaching such problems with a degree of skepticism reveals that things may not be as bad as they seem. People have ample time to address climate issues. Skepticism allows raising questions about the appropriateness of decisions and their effectiveness. Another problem well addressed by skepticism is globalization and migration. Trends of shifting certain masses of different cultures, religions, and nations create multicultural societies where diverse values and perspectives conflict. Skepticism enables recognizing diversity and taking a critical approach to biased opinions. Scientific discoveries and technological innovations can raise ethical and social questions. Skepticism contributes to discussing these issues and emphasizes the need for a balance between scientific progress and ensuring safety and ethics. In the face of rapidly changing circumstances, it is important to maintain critical thinking towards social and political changes. Skepticism helps avoid blindly following populist ideas and justifying one's beliefs. In the 21st century, skepticism remains a tool promoting the development of critical thinking, awareness, and responsibility toward the assertions and decisions made. It also helps avoid premature decisions based on instinctive reactions, allowing for a fair comparison of real facts with fabricated ones. Although skepticism can play a positive role in developing critical thinking and caution regarding information, there are some potential drawbacks. In most cases, these drawbacks arise when healthy skepticism in the form of doubts turns into total distrust of everything new. People who are unable to ride the wave of rapidly changing world trends often suffer from this. Such individuals harbor mistrust toward everything new, considering all novelty harmful and bad. Excessive skepticism implies a refusal to strive for absolute certainty or truth. In some cases, this can lead to a lack of clear beliefs and uncertainty, which is not always acceptable or practical. Skepticism can lead to passivity and indifference. If people doubt everything too much, they may not make any decisions or even ignore important issues, leading to an accumulation of problems. Constant doubt can hinder the decision-making process. People prone to excessive skepticism may often waver and lack a clear opinion, which can be disadvantageous in certain situations. Strong skepticism can lead to distrust of everything and everyone. This can hinder the establishment of trusting relationships, both in personal and professional spheres. A skeptical attitude toward new ideas or opportunities can lead to their underestimation or even overlook. Excessive caution can be a barrier to innovation and personal growth, as well as cause disputes over a unified choice in the family. People with pronounced skepticism may be perceived as unfriendly or critical, leading to social isolation. In the end, skepticism, originally aimed at reducing stress through a more objective view of the problem, can result in even more stress and potential nervous breakdowns. While skepticism is beneficial for critical thinking, it is important to strike a balance between healthy skepticism and the ability to make decisions and trust certain ideas or people. How to become a healthy skeptic? The key is not to overdo it. After all, one can start doubting everything and go psycho like Nietzsche. 
First of all, let's understand that with the development of intelligence, critical thinking increases, subsequently influencing the development of skepticism. The ability to analyze what is happening around you enhances your resilience to premature decisions. The more you know, the more you delve into additional details, ask additional questions to objectively assess the situation. This makes it harder to confuse or deceive you. Question the information. There is no need to go to extremes and question widely accepted facts like the shape of the earth. But accepting all information blindly is also not advisable. Instead, it is essential to approach all information with a light dose of skepticism and ask guiding questions that can expose a person who is lying. Always consider the issue from multiple perspectives. This allows for a more comprehensive view of the situation, taking into account the positions of other subjects. This leads to a more objective perspective on the situation and opens up more reasonable ways to solve the problem. Learn new things. Indeed, the more you know, the less likely you are to be deceived. If, for example, you are aware of deep fakes, you will approach various videos with politicians with skepticism, knowing that it could be artificially created. Be critical of yourself. Apply skepticism to your own beliefs and thoughts. After all, they can also be false or inspired by third parties. Ask yourself questions and reflect on your beliefs and the background that led to those beliefs. And remember, the more you doubt, the more likely you are get to the point. 